in times like these, it's important to tell your friends what they mean to you. But what if I can't find the words? No matter what I try, I can't express how I feel. What's missing? What can help me? It turns out, the words to use were the ones we've been saying all along. Game Grumps, Mr. Business, Uncle Jamboree's pee hole pleasure. I'm daddy, but I'm a furry. My man, Spance, the carbuncle, ate ass. Hey, Aaron. I got your poem. Thank you. Are you okay? Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Four score and seven year ago. Hello, everybody. It's Game Grumpity Grump Grumpertons. God, it's a pleasure to see you. I, yeah, man. This is the special area that we just went into to, I don't fall guys. in <laughs> <laughs> thanks sign S <laughs> such a matter of fact it's the kind of thing my dad would put if we ever had a pool that's the kind of like helpful <laughs> sign a signage he would place around it <laughs> don't fall in <laughs> yeah no like don't run no like yeah yeah oh my god can I play you He's... He's gonna be like, dude, I told you not to, but <laughs> I have to. Is like a new voicemail? Yeah. Um... He has... I think I've told you before, um... W one of the things he and my mom clearly bonded over uh, in their now 40 plus year marriage was that, um, they... You know, his grasp on the English language isn't always the greatest, uh -huh. and she's an English major. Okay. So, so whenever he- it, they just endlessly get a kick out of that together. Um, a, the classic example I always give is, uh, when he called extremism, extrismism, <laughs> and then they had a 20 minute laugh- yeah, and then they had a 20 minute laughing fit. Um, so, I got- yeah, and, and when he told me, um, when I was coming home, uh, th this must have been a while ago, because I haven't seen my parents since the Backstreet Boys tour started, but, um, he, he just said, yeah, come, come home, uh, relax. He meant to say decompress, but he was like, you can decompose. <laughs> like, I hope I won't, father. <laughs> uh, that um, accelerated decomposition sounds terrible. Exactly. So, I got this one from him. It's a two-parter. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting to say, just calling to check out. Love you, bye. <laughs> you can already hear my mom starting to crack up. And then I got this follow-up one from the both of them. Check out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Are they the best? Wait, I love them so much. Did he say ch check out? Yeah, just calling to check out. But <laughs> and then he then he re then he came back with it's check in, not check out. <laughs> uh, That's very sweet. Oh, it it, it was. It, I, it made me feel all the emotions at once, because on, on one hand, it made me laugh so much because it's, you know, I, how do you not love that guy? And, uh, but on the other hand, it made me so, it made me miss them so hard. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's how the Backstreet Boys tour has been, man. Like, there's long stretches where everything's fine and you're just going about your day and, um, and then there's... Every now and then, there are these moments where you're like, "Oh God!" <laughs> yeah, I just had one like like an hour ago. 
Really? Where it was like, uh... For some reason in my head, I was like, oh man, here comes the holiday season. And I just like got all excited about like, like, oh, it's gonna get cold and like, I'm gonna have some time off. I'm gonna like get a new book and like, I'm gonna see some friends and ah, it's gonna be great. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, no, none of that. None of those things. I mean, the book, the book thing, that can happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're still dressing up at my house. What? For Christmas? No, for Halloween. Oh, I... I, oh, I thought you were I counting that as one of the holidays. Season. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about... Um... Oh, yeah, we're definitely I, gonna celebrate Halloween. Yeah. Do, do you and Suze plan on dressing up? I mean... It'd be nice. Cause Ash and I will dress up too and we can- we can all FaceTime. God, that's adorable. <laughs> just let's do it. Okay. Come on, man. Right. Let's let's try to gain some sort of normalcy in our lives. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> wow, it looks like they're all shitting. Yeah, I just want to see like one little turd come out of one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's just it's just and it floats away. <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh, there's gonna be a harder boo situation going on here. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, no, no. Wait, why is the- oh. This platform. Whoa, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I don't know wow. how that happened. You know what? I hope if the set of circumstances ever occurs where I accidentally fall off a moving platform and get sucked into the endless void of space where I asphyxiate and die, People's reactions are a little bit stronger than too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking guy with a like a, a stand-up bass comes over and just plucks it. My <laughs> damn. <laughs> too bad. Oof. Oof. Oh. We've been through this before, haven't we? I recall you having a lot of trouble with this one. No. Never? I mean, maybe a similar looking stage. Yeah, where they- where they munch the ground. Yeah, oh yeah. It, I yeah. mean, it was probably this one, but like, the first mission. This is Right, that's what I'm saying. Um, okay. Th then yes. The answer to your question is yes. <laughs> then yes, it was in fact this exact one. <laughs> but it wasn't the same mission, so it's not... They usually put you if on a different part of the- like, it's a completely different designed part of the stage. Mm, oh, I see. It was just like... In, in Same world. Yeah, I guess. Same galaxy. Ah. Just like yeah, Jackson. cause this feels familiar. Yeah, this feels familiar too. Oh. oh, careful now. Star. Yeah, good job. Boy, that was good easy. job, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> too easy. It's like make it harder, Mario. <laughs> Mario? Yeah, and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Superb Marion brethren. <laughs> Hello, I am Marion. I, I Boy, am, that's uh, I am the star of my own video game series. Marion would definitely be the one who rides Yasho. <laughs> Luigi. I love off brand. Oh yeah. Sam so. Is it the shit called Sam Sonic? I don't know what the hell's going yeah, on in my yeah. brain right now. Luigi would definitely not be called anything close to Luigi in that knockoff version. It would be Mario and Mario Green. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, Mario Green. <laughs> Hello, I am Mario Green, and I am Mario. And it would actually be a palette swap. Swap. It wouldn't be like like a taller Mario. It would just straight up be Mario. You know what I would really love? Mm -hmm. a, a, a Mario horror game. <laughs> That's Luigi's Mansion. No, like a real horror game. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like Lu Luigi's Mansion, but there's a there's a room in the mansion where Luigi finds all the aborted attempts at creating a Luigi before him, like like Ripley in Alien Resurrection. <laughs> And they're all like deformed and in test tubes and shit. 
Oh, no. <laughs> they all wake up and they're all like, brother, 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 brother. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Please end Kill me. me, brother. End me. Hey, bro. Kill me. <laughs> 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 That's a game I'd like to play. Oh, yeah. Hey, all right. That's good. That's good. Um, they did make a, uh, there was a fan-made, like, a Waluigi horror game. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never played it, though. But it could be it's good. A, it certainly could be. We played some strange knockoff Waluigi game. Oh, yeah, it was like the platformer, or wasn't it? It was, yes, it was bizarre. We only played one episode of it. Because it sucked. No, I'm just... Oh, it was a one-off. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I can't remember, it even. It's been a long time. Um... The... Speaking of games that we have yet to finish... Uh -huh. Um... Well, first of all, I remember we talked about Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Apparently, we did stop Mario Odyssey right before the end. Really? Yeah, we've got one last, like, level to get through or something like that. Oh, that's so fucked up! How can we do that? I don't know, I... think we probably just forgot. Well, how do we forget if we were... I don't know. I don't know either, but if you- if- if you want to make that part of the quest to finish games, like the thing we're doing right now, um... Uh, that would be cool. And also, Luigi's Mansion, we, um... Although, I seem to remember we did, like, seven episodes of Luigi's Mansion, and, and people weren't super into it. Like, some people were very into it, but most people weren't really. Yes. Um, but maybe with the half-hour format, there'd be more, uh, more enjoyment. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd certainly be willing to go back and give it another shot. Luigi's man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's man shin, and it's just about his hairy ankles. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, I fucked this one up good. Yeah, you didn't- you didn't get it at all. Ooh. Time's Jeez. up. 420 though, so blaze it. Oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there should've been some kind of, like, <laughs> like, unique, like... 420, huh? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they slipped in, you are Mr. Gay, in this game, there's probably a decent chance that they're 420 friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Are you? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I, can't, I, can't, I swear it, to God, it's, it's gonna be like the number one miss, because no one would ever cop to that. Like, no one. If, oh, of course not. If it not. were true. Um, but like, how could it not be intentional? It's, yeah, it seems so obvious. Boy, this one's tough. Like, you are Mr. Gay for... Oh, 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 gold ones! Oh, if you got the two gold ones, you would have had it. No. Like, you are Mr. Gay, I, I feel could be a... By the way, we're talking about the stars in the Mario Galaxy yes, logo. Yes, we should explain this again yes, for anyone who's the, just hopping in randomly. The stars in the Mario Galaxy logo spell out, you are Mr. Gay. Um, the, the ones that twinkle spell out you are Mr. Gay. I think it's just the stars. That, like, because in the actual logo, there are stars on top of the letters. And oh, the, I see the, what you're saying. The ones that they're on top of, uh, spell out you are Mr. Gay. And then in Mario okay. Galaxy 2, the stars spell out, yeah, I am, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... It's sort of ingenious. Yeah, so it's like... What a fucking coincidence, if that's, like, an unbelievable coincidence. Yeah, get ready to get those gold ones. Yes, oh, queen. Whew. Um... Good job. And, like, I would believe it from the first one, because that's just like, yeah, you know, whatever, it happens. Yeah, what, the, what, yeah. The fact that the second one, like, kind of lines up to the first one makes me think it was intentional. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think that's pretty great. Um, and, and like I said, like, I don't think anybody on planet Earth would cop to that. Like, officially, like... Well, who would have done it? Like, would it have been the programmers? Would it have been just some naughty temp? <laughs> like, the guy who designed the logo, I guess. 
but mm. like I don't know, you know, like who knows, right? Like somebody could have been like, I think the stars should be here, and then they're like, okay, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, who fucking? And then knows? it's just, yeah, because it is pretty evenly distributed throughout the thing. Yeah. Um, and also the if you're looking for it, uh, you are Mr. Gay. You can, it, it's just the stars. But, um, yeah, I am, are you, are the stars red backwards. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's how, you know. And God, if they ever have to come up with a Super Mario 3, God knows what they're gonna come up with at that point. Yeah. They'll man. probably add a bunch of stuff so they can add in a, a bunch of more strangeness. Do you think they're ever like, gonna make a Mario Galaxy 3? Yeah, Mario Galaxy 3, the search for the hidden temple among the stars, you know, so they could say something like, you are Mr. Gay, meet me behind the alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe it was just like some old fashioned type who was like, I want, I want the players of this game to feel gay, you know, like, and, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's lovely. There, there is, um... You know, a lot of these books I've been reading in quarantine are from the 1800s, when gay fully just meant happy. You know, I, I don't even... I don't know. I don't know when gay started being referred to in homosexual terms, but, um... They, it, they it's, it's widespreadly... It's widespread use in those books is, um, to mean happy. And, uh, you know, so it will be, Dracula became gay at this notion. And it really takes all my maturity to not just go... <laughs> Wait, he says, it says Dracula became gay at this notion? Well, I mean, yeah, th there's things like that. Fuck. I mean, oh, geez, you, you're having trouble with the perspective on yeah, that one. it looked like I was going to land on it. Um... That's, that um, rules. But yeah, they say they say a lot of stuff like that. God, I want like, I want fan art of like the alternate version, <laughs> where he's like, hmm. You you want fan art of Dracula uh, of gay Dracula? Aaron, I've got good news for you. <laughs> Have you heard of the internet? <laughs> You're gonna love it. Dreams can come true. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh god, I gotta go back. Go fuck yourself. Boy, <laughs> One, two, three, fuck you, Uncle Fucker! Suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> South Park? Yeah, oh yeah, that's a South Park movie. Oh, okay. I don't- oh. Ooh. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker! You're a boner-biting bastard, Uncle Fucker! <laughs> Boner-biting? Yeah. <laughs> You're an Uncle Fucker, I must say, you fucked your uncle yesterday! <laughs> What the hell? It's the, the oh god, that movie is so funny. Wow, yeah, I I saw it when I was oh, like when it came out first on video, on VHS. Yes, it was pretty groundbreaking. Because it had a they could swear in it. That was amazing. Yes, even even the first South Park episodes in like '97, I guess it would have been, um, when uh, which were just on network TV. Uh, all of my friends and I were shocked, you know, you just, we just never heard cartoons say things like that. Yeah. Uh, um, other than, you know, at Spike and Mike's Sick and Twisted Animation Festival, which would come around once a year. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, those, those were different times. Free Franklin. Um, but th that, so, South Park broke a lot of ground, and continues to, those... Those guys are pretty amazing. Yeah, they, they, uh... I always feel like, I, I feel like they've sort of faded out of the public lexicon recently. Like, I haven't really heard a whole lot of like, Oh, dude, South Park. There was this period where it was like, every episode was just like, Dude, did you see South Park address the da 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 thing? But, yeah, they? well, that, that's the amazing thing about them. They're so topical. Like, yeah. they could, um... There was that documentary, and who knows if this is true or not, but, um, it talked about how they essentially assemble an episode out of nothing to 
airing in something like six days, you know? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, I did not expect those guys to become some of the preeminent satirists of our generation. Wow. I remember passing um, around that original, you know, Santa vs. Jesus video. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I fucking emailed that shit when I was a kid. Like, I was like, dude, check this, this is so funny. Yeah. That, that was really the one where we couldn't believe it. And now you look at it and you think, oh, okay. You know, there's a million things like this, but at the time, there was one. Yeah. And that was it. Also, it, it was the style of it is is kind of impressive because it's like nobody's really struck gold with that sort of style. Shit. Yeah, know. cut out cardboard figures. Yeah, other than South Park that I can think of. Uh, no, it was very unique and the violence of it. Uh, that was the first Kenny death, and they just pull his head off and there are rats on him. My friends and I were looking at it, thinking, "Oh my god, <laughs> this is this is amazing." Do the double head, double head twiddles. Fucking double head twiddles. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just thinking, double taper twiddle, double taper twiddle, <laughs> double taper. <laughs> do this one, dude. What? What are you trying? Oh, jeez. I'm trying to get the points, dude. I'm trying to get all the points. Well, you're almost halfway there. <laughs> That's right, Dan. I'm almost halfway there. But how much time did they give you? A hundred seconds? A hundred if, if so, you're right on schedule. I guess that's true. There is room for like a big finale. Here we go. Fuck. Fuck it, fucking fuck, fuckity fuck. Fuck you! <laughs> wow. Spitting on me, asshole. Grash ho, bump you. I thought, for a second I zoned out and I thought you were saying you're spitting on my asshole like like an 18th century chimney sweep. You spitting on me asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying, Dan. Yeah. Oh, wow. I oh, it's, it's close. Fuck this up hard, dude. Fucked it yeah, up, yeah. dude. Fucked it up. You got nine tenths of the way there. That's not good enough. Thank you, monkey friend. <laughs> Wow, you just die on the spot, huh? <laughs> yeah. He's like, now I will take your soul. <laughs> <laughs> your failure is lethal. <laughs> All right. uh, okay. Get 10,000 points or suffer the consequences. <laughs> oh no, I missed out on 200 points by whacking him. Dilly dallying? Head, yeah. Fucking fool I was. Do you get no points for star bits? No, star bits are fucking worthless. Harsh. Super. Harsh bud, bro. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. Suck my dick and suck on my wiener, I am going slow. Suck on my dick and suck on my dick and suck on my dick Oh, look at these boys. Look at these bad boys Whee! over here. Boink, doink, doink. Nice. Doink and doinkage. Well done. That was some good, clean pointage right there. That was some good, clean pointage, and I don't want to hear anything other than the sort of the good, clean pointage that I obtained with my brain. Obtained with the brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining someone saying, Garrett, are you okay? And then someone else saying, he, it's best just to leave him <laughs> when he's like this. Just leave him be. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck it up again. I'm gonna fuck it up again. I'm gonna fuck it up again. I'm gonna fuck it up Yeah, I think you gotta get up to where those others are real fast. Jesus. Try getting the big coin first. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean, Dan. I hear you. I'm, I'm hearing you. Great. Fuck. Oh, you fucked it up. I'm such a fucking you, you failure. God. You tried to save time and you lost time instead. My fucking dad was right. My dad was right. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Should have gone for that one first. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm such a fucking failure. Fuck! 
shame. Dude, why didn't you just collect the coins? That would have been it. Because it's it better to hit him on the head because it gives you 300 instead of 100. You, you, yeah, well, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dude, dude, what's the matter? That's what he says. What what's the matter, you? Jesus. Jack Seems like it only Jesus. gives us. I want to start it over? Yes. Yeah. That's the spirit. Immediate quidditch. Oh. Immediate quidditch is also what they play in Harry Potter. <laughs> when there's very little time to spare. Yeah. Should I, like, leave something? God, I wish I could fly on a broom. Yeah, that'd be dope. I wish I could just fly, dude. Alright, this, this is a challenge that was posed to me. Um... It seems like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting, but it's it seems like they give you bits when you punch them and coins when you jump on their heads. Dan, is this your first time realizing that? No. I was just trying to be helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've been jumping on, like, Goomba's heads instead of, like, smacking them around. It would appear... If I, if I'm... If, I could be wrong, but I believe that you are Mario in this game, the same, the self-same Mario as in Super Mario Bros. I don't think, no, that's ridiculous. Absolutely I th I thought so too, and yet here we are. Ooh. Yes, confirmed. They give you the bits when you spin. <laughs> Dan, I'm gonna need you to, uh, calm your tits. I'm sorry, <laughs> are my tits not calm enough? No, it's off the side. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this is, is tough. This is tough. Um, God, what the fuck was I saying? I, was, I had something to say. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I do. I remember you were saying something. Uh, what, what, what were we talking about? I don't know, I got excited about my bit. That was a pretty good bit, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, thank you. I played it too straight though, and you actually thought I was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this is another problem with us being in different rooms. <laughs> Cause like, if, if we'd been in the same room, you would have seen my face with the, ah, <laughs> like look. <laughs> it appears to me. <laughs> no, I don't want to get in my head of myself here, but uh. I've, I've done the research. Yeah. I've been crunching the numbers. <laughs> Over here on my cake. All right. God damn it. You're... What's happening? I got stuck in the fucking lily pad. A, a common problem. God damn this fucking game with its slight displacement of time and space. <laughs> this would be so much easier if they weren't spitting rocks all the time. Yeah, well, you could say that about almost anything that's spitting rocks at you. <laughs> Maybe you should just not even worry about these guys and go up to the the big finale. No, first. I tried that and it just wasn't enough points. Mmm. Fiddle dee dee. Did I ever tell you about the story about how I threw a fucking rock at my brother's face with like full force? Oh my god. Was he alright? His face seems good now. Yeah. No, I didn't like... ...injure him or anything. Really? The rock you threw at his face full force didn't injure him? Well, it wasn't like a huge rock. Oh my god. Yes, go. queen. Um, oh. So, basically what happened... There was a bee. Okay. I was very young. We were out mm -hmm. camping, and there was a bee, and I was like, there's a bee! And I like... This is before I This was it. before your love affair with bees began, I'm assuming. Yeah. I was like, get it! And then I picked up a rock, and I like, tried to throw it at the bee. <laughs> and I hit my brother in the face. How big of a rock was it? I mean, it was like a, like a... Smallish... Like, it wasn't a pebble, but it was like a small rock. Oh, no! And was he like, was he alright? Well, I mean, he was pretty upset. Did he cry? 
I think he probably cried, yeah. I, I would I would have cried. I would have cried if I was a kid and I got a rock thrown at my face. I just remembered the shame, because it was like they they made me feel really bad about it afterwards. Is they being your parents? Just the whole the whole unit. Uh and it's, it's, that's all I remember. I remember I remember like the scene. So I think I've probably dreamed about it a couple times. Hmm. But yeah, I was just trying to help. <laughs> yeah. It, and, you know, it's it's, it's a fine line, man. I'm gonna go super massive. Fuck it. Your yeah. brother's military, though. I'm sure. I'm sure it just gave him an even more tough exterior. <laughs> My brother was a sweet kid, man. Very polite. He's was, he's still a sweet guy now. Yeah. I just uh, when I was a kid. He's a very nice person. Didn't give a shit. Well, I gave a shit. I was constantly anxious about what people were thinking, but I didn't- I guess I didn't learn how to be polite or something. What do you- oh. Ghost of the age you passed. Bye! <laughs> I'm fucking out of here, bro. <laughs> Smell you later! <laughs> you fucking freak. Anyway, my life is empty. Smell you later has to be one of my favorite <laughs> things that people used to say in the 80s that seems to be making some kind of comeback, which is astonishing is to me. Really? I mean, I've heard people say it recently. If it's because of... it, it It's because of Pokemon. That's why. Is it? Yeah, fucking Gary Who says Oak, that? Your, like, your rival, Professor Oak's grandson. He, he, uh, he says smell you later. Oh my god, amazing. It's hysterical. And iconic. It's like it's like Queen Go Off. <laughs> Qu <laughs> queen Go Off. Yeah. What does that mean? Like Queen Go Off. It's like when it's it's like when somebody's like going on like a like a righteous rant. Oh, like you in Subway. Yeah. It's like Queen Go Off. <laughs> That's it's pretty I mean. great. Uh, it, it happens to me all the time. Whenever I'm streaming or something, and I'm like, No, it's fucking lame bullshit. People are like, Queen go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they call me when you're streaming, you which is upsetting. Aww. I'd rather, I'd much rather be playing than being honest with you. That's interesting. Um, there's a uh, that reminds me of the Queens of the Stone Age. Um, because someone asked them why they didn't call themselves Kings of the Stone Age, and they said, Man. Kings of the Stone Age are like the jocks, like they're the assholes. The queens of the Stone Age are the cool ones who are hanging out, smoking cigarettes, <laughs> partying. I, d I don't know. They, they had that same kind of reaction to it. <laughs> Fucking rules. What did they write songs for? Queens of the Stone Age? Spider-Man? What are you talking about? <laughs> who did they write songs for? What did they do? What were their songs? <laughs> they, well, they've been around for forever. Um, their most famous song is, uh, no one knows. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're a great band. Are they? My favorite song by them is. I never came. That's a great song. Well, that's they, they have a lot of cool albums. What's that? They never came? That's a hard life, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know what the meaning of the song is exactly, but um, it's a cool one. They, they, their whole... They had an album called Songs for the Deaf. Uh, it's got a red cover. And that whole album from front to back is, I think, one of the best rock albums of this century so far. Rock and or roll? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, I don't know. Dave Grohl, kind of Dave Grohl is drumming on it, and so it's got that, brrr, you know, like that real heavy, mean drumming. It's so good. <laughs> got that mean drumming. Yeah. yeah. Dude, there are some drummers that just hit the crap out of their drums, and Dave Grohl is one of them. Hell yeah. You know who else is one of those guys? Who's that? Me. 
because I don't know how to play drums, so all I do is beat the crap. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And next time on Game Grumps, yeah. I thought I thought you were honestly going to say, you know who's also one of those guys? Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, nah, I thought you were gonna me, dude. pull that move. Nah, not me. That ain't me, dude. <laughs> that ain't how I roll, baby. <laughs> nah, that ain't it, Chief. <laughs> Alright, be good, everyone. Hell yeah, bye, We love you. Goodbye.